Newly elected MP for Porong Pasir, Mr. Sito Ipin, held his first Meet the People session at Porong Pasir on Friday night. At the session, close to 100 residents turned up to voice their concerns to their new MP. Top on Mr. Sito's list for Porong Pasir is the cleanliness of the estate. If you talk about town council issue, a common feedback that we have received over the last, not just recently, over the last uh, uh, few years is the cleanliness of the estate. So uh, that is, uh, again, top priority. I will be going around to check on the cleanliness of the estate and I have also assigned our grassroots leaders uh, to ensure that our, our cleanliness uh, is of an acceptable and improved standard. Mr. Sito also spoke to the media about the attachments some residents have to their former MP, Mr. Chiam Si Tong, who has served them for the past 27 years. The uh, emotions shown by the residents uh, is not surprising. Uh, it is only human for you to be emotionally attached to someone who has been here for 27 years. Uh, but I hope that we can all uh, uh, take a step back, uh, remain calm. Uh, I hope that the residents will give us a chance to work together with them over the next five years. Uh, I have every confidence and I'm very sure we will deliver. But apart from delivering on uh, a better home, I think a, care, a more caring community is paramount. Uh, what it means is that we have to build up our, our relationship with the residents. We have got to understand their hearts and minds even better. Uh, we have to uh, make them feel that we and them are one family. Porong Pasir SMC was the most closely contested constituency in the 2011 general election with Sito Ipin from the People's Action Party beating Lina Chiam of the Singapore People's Party by 114 votes. Mrs. Chiam is eligible to be an NCMP as she was one of the top scorers among unelected opposition party members and has accepted the seat. I think first and foremost, I want to congratulate Mrs. Chiam uh, on accepting the NCMP post. I look forward uh, to seeing her in Parliament. Uh, I'm also very uh, uh, heartened and very happy that she has publicly stated that she will come back here in five years. Uh, I look forward to the contest in five years' time and uh, hopefully uh, five years' time uh, we can win by more than 114 votes. Uh, but uh, to do that, we have to work very hard over the next five years. We have to deliver. Uh, we will do that for sure. And what feedback has Mr. Sido gotten from Porong Pasir residents since his victory? Many residents have congratulated me uh, through SMS or through the email. Uh, I'm grateful to them for their well wishes and for their support. But I think what is uh, more important, what is paramount in my mind is that we have to deliver. We have to deliver on all our promises uh, over the next five years. And that's why uh, uh, in the last few days I have held many meetings uh, in the afternoons and I just finished another meeting. Uh, talking to all the relevant organisations uh, to work together to fulfil our five-year dream. But uh, I think uh, top priority now on my list is that uh, is the taking over of the Potong Pasir Town Council. According to the advice that we have received from HDB, uh, we are due to take over Potong Pasir Town Council at the end of this month. So I want to ensure that there's a smooth transition. I want to ensure that there is no inconvenience to our residents. And I want to ensure that after we take over the Potong Pasir Town Council, Potong Pasir residents will have a higher standard of service rendered to them. The lives of Potong Pasir residents will be far better than it was previously.